In today's video, we are going to explain two things. Number one, convex lens and how images form by convex lens. And number two, how water acts as convex lens in different situation. Now what is lens? Lens is an optical instrument which can refract light rays. It can focus or disperse light rays. Latin name of lintel is lens and in history is very old. That is the history of lenses traced back to Greeks. There are two types of lenses. One is convex and the other is concave. In this topic, we are going to explain convex lens. What is convex lens? Convex lens is a lens which is thick in the center and thin in the edges. So in a picture in my hand, it is convex lens. It is also called converging lens because it converges parallel rays to a single point and that point is known as focus point. So consider it is a convex lens. There are parallel rays and after refraction all these rays are focused on a single point and that point is known as focus point. Now the image formation by convex lens. The nature and position of the image formed by convex lens depends on the distance of the object from the lens. For example, if the object is placed at a distance greater than double of the focal length, the image is formed between the focus point and the double of focal length on the other side. And the image form is smaller in size as compared to the object, it is real and inverted. And this concept is used in camera and in an eye. This figure explains this process. Suppose that in the center, the vertical line is a convex lens. The long line, which is horizontal, is known as principal axis. This F is focus point. It is on, the, in, on both sides at the same distance. And this is known as double of focal length. So it is here as well. Now suppose that this is an object which is placed at a distance greater than double of focal length. Now by using ray diagrams, we can get an image formed and the image is formed between F and 2F on the other side. So if the object is placed at a distance more than double of focal length, the image is formed on the other side between F and 2F. It is smaller in size, inverted and real. Case number two. If the object is placed at a distance equal to double a focal length or 2F, then the image is formed on 2F as well on the other side. The image is of the same size, real inverted, real and inverted. And this concept is used in photostat machine or photocopy machine. Now the diagram of this situation is, again, we have a convex lens in the form of vertical line and principal axis in the, form, in the form of horizontal line and this red object shows object which is down to F by using rays we can see that the image is formed exactly on to F and the size of the image is same as the size of object the image is real and inverted case number 3 the object is placed between F and 2F then the image is formed at a distance greater than double of focal length on the other side. The image is larger in size, real and inverted. And this concept is used in projector. Now the diagram is, again the vertical line is convex lens. It is an object placed between F and 2F. And uh, by using a ray diagram, we see that the image is formed at a distance greater than double of focal length on the other side. And you can easily see the image is formed at a distance greater than double of focal length and it is larger in size, inverted and real. Next case, if the object is placed at a distance equal to focal length of a lens, the image is formed at infinity. The characteristics of such images that it is magnified, virtual and upright and this concept is used in telescope. Let's show it by ray diagram. Here is an object which is placed on focus point and this distance is focal length. By taking the rays out of its head, 
we see that both the rays of the refraction travels parallel and uh, we trace them back and we say that the image is formed at infinity. Last case, when the object is placed at a distance less than the focal length of a lens, the image is formed behind the object or on the other side of the object. The image is magnified, it is virtual and upright. And this concept is used in magnifying glass. So in this case the image is formed virtual and upright. Let's see it by ray diagrams. Here is an object placed between the lens and the focus point. This distance is less than the focal length of a lens. And uh, by taking the rays out, we see that the rays are diverging here. But tracing them backward, we see that they combine at a common point and we get an image which is taller as compared to the object. We say that the image is magnified or larger in size. It is upright and virtual and this concept is used in magnifying glass. Now let's compare water with convex lens. We will discuss different examples in which water acts as a convex lens. In this example, you can see that a candle is observed in the convex lens and we see that the candle is upside down or it is inverted. So here we see that an object which is candle and that is viewed through con convex lens and that is inverted. Now look at the uh, Forsan Wi-Fi team.